H.E.S. Ultimage, brought to you by Essentia Oils and Essences. Infuse your environment with their natural, reiki, and crystal-infused Yogini Girl essential oil sprays to lift the energy of your space and body. Available in four unique scents. Invigorating Citrus and Herb Bliss, Soothing Floral Calm, Intoxicating and Sensual Love, and Classic Clearing. Try one today. Hey guys, this is Hale for HES Ultimage, and this is your channeled forecast for the month of December. I do personal readings, they start at just $20. If you're interested, go to HESUltimage.com, spelled just like the channel. Alright, so let's get into it, guys. Okay, so first off, I'm going to tell you the big energy of this month, okay? Big energy is, this is a big change month. You will never be able to stay the same so change must occur. All right, so this month is going to be about, okay, I'm just going to be honest, and I can hit these other key points as we go through it, um, but basically, sometimes we try and resist change because of the fact that either we don't want to accept what we know is true to who we are and our identity, or other people, or society, or other things, make us feel like whatever is a part of our identity is something to be rejected or somehow deplorable or somehow less valued or less valid. And this is what the month's going to be all about, guys. It's going to be about snapping in to more of your identity and more of who you are as a person and being more true to yourself. And um, I guess I can get into this just a tiny bit um, because my theories about Okay, what most people call spirituality is has evolved quite a bit. And I now believe in a theory of kind of space-time, where it's like, when you're a channeler or even a medium, it's like you're accessing past and future information um, in the present. But that's what you're doing. You're accessing past and future information, to me, like something through matter or space-time. To me, we already know instinctively who we are, and we can feel it in our gut, like how people say they have instincts or intuition. That's how it starts to operate at first. And it's like you might have feelings about, oh, well, this seems attractive to me for some reason. Whether that's a sport you want to play, or a yoga class you want to take, or an art form you want to take up. These aren't arbitrary feelings. These feelings are implanted into us because somehow we're tapped into an understanding through however this brainwave works. Because I know your brain functions differently. I'm a channeler. You don't get to see it during the video now because I write down the bullet points at first so that way it's a lot more streamlined and get your message faster. But it's like your brain functions differently and you tap into this whole other thing. And you can get exterior um, information in the present that can help you later in the future, and that's exactly how it works. Um, and I've seen this function a lot more directly, which led me to believe this in particular, and not just ghosts or spirits or demons and angels and stuff. Um, anyhow, so when you feel those things about, I know this is the person that I am, it's a part of your path and it's a part of your identity. And it's something that usually will feel this impulse, and then we'll knock it and go, well, I can't do this because I don't have time. Or I can't do this because what will my friends think if I want to learn um, how to do, you know, uh, I don't know, anything, metalworking or, or pro computer programming, you know, whatever it is, or learn an instrument. All of these things are built into us, okay? They're there for a reason, and in this month for Capricorns, you're meant to start acknowledging it, utilizing it, and again, snapping in is what I'm saying, because it's like, the impulse is your future self already understanding that it's a part of your identity. Your present self is just needing to be aware of it and to utilize it so you snap into the knowledge, okay? So you snap into the experiences, all right? So that's how it works, <laughs> roughly speaking. I mean, this is like really advanced metaphysics, but, but there we go, all right. Um, continuing forward, I'll start going off on some of these other things because that had quite a few examples. You cannot fulfill your own desires if you are too concerned with what other people think. Again, that was the example that I was giving there with society, your friends, your family, 
etc. Sometimes it could even be your significant other. And I would say, you know, in cases like that, essential for any relationship is honesty, okay? And honest communication. And you can't submerge your identity to make somebody love you or make somebody be your friend or make somebody accept you and your family. You have to be true to yourself. That's the most admirable thing. And it's the only way that you can find and, you know, receive self-realization. Again, present self, future self. Future self already knows and tells you through these deep feelings, unless you're a channel or a medium, in which case you can just have it popped into your head. Um, but, but for most people, and I evolved with all of this. So when I started, I got it through those gut feelings, and now I can channel and stuff, but that, you know, took some time and some effort, and I did stuff with cards before, and now I don't have to. But, um, but I'm just saying, you know, to those who are interested in this kind of thing with metaphysics, you know, there are tiers that you kind of work your way up. God, and I, I'm working on a book about this stuff, but I digress. Um, but if people are interested in that stuff, maybe I'll make more videos. You can leave me a comment if you want more videos like that about metaphysics. Okay, continuing forward. So again, it's like future self already knows what you, what you want and who you are. Present self, who is you in the present, already has like those gut feelings but will try and push them off or go well this person won't love or accept me if i try and be exactly who i am all right december's all about you have to be exactly who you are and start tapping in and bridging the gap and snapping into that knowledge that moment those experiences that you're meant to be having all right there's more though okay give me a second i want to make sure i get all the bullet points for you guys and then there's a little bonus at the end for some people. Um, all right. Next one. You will take action to fulfill these, you know, desires, these aspirations, these, but again, there are ego desires and then there are instinct desires and instinct things about your identity. Listen to the instincts. That's the whole thing. You know, when the mental mind gets involved too much, the logical mind gets involved too much, we can be led way off what our future self already knows is the truth and just delude ourselves and like work on things because we want to really prove something to people and stuff like that. Like, you, sometimes you have to realize when it's like, you're talking yourself into it through your mental mind and when you feel something deep down in your gut or your heart. All right, okay. And, um, all right, yeah, so again, it's gonna take action. So again, you can't just push it off and go, I don't have time, I don't have energy, um, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next month or next year. I mean, I would say for December, action should be taken in December, honestly. Um, it's a great way to spring into the new year by starting your resolution a little early, but, um, but this is the big thing, guys. All right. Oh, and that's the other thing. You will enter periods of stagnation if you continue to refuse your identity, okay? And those deep things that you know that are true. All right. So again, that just means you're going to experience inactivity, um, sloth, frustration, feeling like your life isn't moving anywhere. Because when you, you know, when you denounce your identity, that's what it feels like all the time. And it's like, there are many stories about people who, you know, when they finally listened to who they knew they really were, that then they wound up moving forward in some big ways, okay? And for some people, that can be sexual identity. For some people, that's um, career identity. For some people, it has to do with... Um, you know, um, okay, I'll just say spiritual identity because that's important for some people. Um, again, now I'm of a different belief set when it comes to how I express and understand what I call now metaphysics um, and space-time. But anyhow, but that those kinds of understandings of being connected to your intuition and instinct, that can be important for people too. Just a few examples there. All right, okay, next. You will never be your true self unless you can dissolve the exterior perceptions of others. I touched on this a lot already, but again, the idea is you can't let the opinions of others cling to you and pretty much be all of this dust and grime that keeps you from shining as who you really are. Okay, so if somebody goes, you can't be um, any kind of job that you're aspiring to because you know deep down that's what your calling is, then you know, rub it off and move forward. Um, 
if you uh, have people who are, okay, let's use that other example again with sexual identity. If you have people in your life who are unsupportive because you might be a guy who likes guys or a girl who likes girls or somebody who likes both or even transgender because that's becoming a very important social um, commentary right now that people are becoming a lot more aware of. And, you know, understanding that that's also for some people a big part of their identity and a big part of their path. Um, if it's any of these things, the idea is you can't worry about what other people are going to think because self-realization um, really outweighs fear, okay? And that's one thing that all people need to understand. But again, for Capricorns this month, this is the big one. All right, next. These pieces of identity are a part of who you are instinctively, and um, who we know we become. I already touched on this a lot. Do you want to snap into self-realization or prolong the process? So again, this is just showing the other side of it. Um, if you choose to continue to just go, silly higher self, you don't know what you're talking about. You're just going to keep putting off the inevitable. So why bother? Why not enjoy your identity now? Because that's what always happens. People wind up doing these things and like becoming these things and then they go why did it take me so long to listen to myself and be myself all right and um it can be something that seems very small and i mean i'm just going to give you a random example personal example but i always knew that things like tarot cards and crystals and stuff were for me my whole life since i was a little kid and it took me until I was like, God, maybe 24, 25, um, actually more like 20, 22 for my first time experimenting with that, but not really until 24, 25 that I felt really grounded to do it. And then all of a sudden it became my job, you know, um, my full-time job. And it's like, it can seem so small and minuscule when you have a small impulse towards what you know is your identity or your truth, and you can't understand why the hell it is. But at the end of the day, it can wind up being way bigger than you would have anticipated if you only took that small step to make it happen. And that's what this month is about. It's about taking the actual steps to make it happen, too. You know? And it's like, even little things like, with fitness, like you always wanted to do boxing or something. Like, that's one of the other little things that happened to me before that... You know, then all of a sudden I realized it became a big part of my identity. I met some really inspiring people and learned some in inspiring things, and it changed me forever. This is what's happening for all people. When you have these gut instincts and heart instincts, you just have to try and go, okay, higher self, let me give that a shot, all right? So, so really work on that. And if you're going, how do I connect more with my higher self and stuff like that? I always say crystal meditation. I have a video on it, crystal meditation 101, if you want to watch that. I like that to be a resource for people. All right, continuing forward. You will have to be bolder. All right, this is this is another little facet of this. We need to make mi like m bigger moves or more decisive moves, okay? So you can't get out of it this month. If you do, all you're doing is prolonging the inevitable and like you're stretching out the timeline kind of, basically. It's like you're just kind of... And I always say everything is meaningful in the moment and like, you know, everything contributes. But if you know something is like to your greatest benefit and you feel it, then why not just attack it and do it now? Yeah, okay. All right, cool. Okay, next. You will have to be, yeah, okay, I did the boulder. Um, okay. Becoming who you will become can sometimes be a futile exercise if you resist your identity or shun or disown it due to the opinions of others. So, okay, coming full circle here, that's the message, guys. So, again, it's like you have to just, like, push out all of the external and start to listen to that higher self that much more in December. It's super important to, like, uh, again, it can seem small, but it can wind up being a big payoff when you listen to your higher self and you use that access to your great advantage, okay? And, again, that's impulse. That's instinct, and listening to your impulse and instinct this month. All right, last one. This is for some. I get that every once in a while now for my channeled messages. 
For some people, you can seek a partner this month. That means seeking love in particular. So a romantic partner would be the particular thing. So for some people, not all people, that will be something relevant. So I present that to you for your discretion. And you can, you know, look into that further. All right, that said, again, I do personal readings, hesultimage.com, starting at $20. And I wish you a very um, motivated December, and I will see you later.